Hello vinyl fans, I'm here with a pile of records and a crate of records at my feet. And this interesting Crosby vinyl record box case thing that I got at Walmart. It's a record storage crate. So my question is, is it better than jamming my stuff in a milk crate and then piling the rest of the records on top of it? So let's find out. Again, this was from Walmart. I don't remember what it cost. And I'm not even sure how to build it. The box isn't terribly clear whether or not it requires tools or whether or not it comes with any tools. So let's just dive in and find out, shall we? I'm using a heart drill bit and some screwdriver tip kit from Walmart and an electric little works screwdriver. I don't know if they still make these, but I like it. It works great for small jobs like this. And according to the directions, we are just going to screw in 9 billion screws. Okay, step one is to take both C's. One has the logo and put them upside down with the indentation facing out. You're then going to take part A, it's labeled with a microscopic little sticker, and place the holes over the holes. You'll know which side is up because there's little indentations where the screws will sink into. Be careful not to miss the holes because this is soft wood, so you want to get it right. So I did the four corners first because it keeps it you know all in place so I can do the rest after. And I put them all in gently and now I will just snug them up. Again, it's pretty soft wood, so don't overdo it. Because once you crack that hole, crack the wood, goodbye, <laughs> it'll never hold again. So when I do it, I keep a loose grip on the screwdriver since this screwdriver doesn't have a slip gear like a torque wrench would have, for example. So once it's tight, it kind of turns away from my hand because I'm not holding it too tight. That's when I know I'm good. Now we're going to do B. Looks like on both sides, same thing, the indentation in the holes, because the head of the screw, when you screw it in, will go recessed into the head uh, space, into that recessed hole. That way it doesn't stick out. Again, firm but not too firm. You want to crack the holes and your screw will never hold. Down to our last side, 9,000 more holes. Okay, so there it is. Three screws in each side. Four screws on each side on the bottom. Now this was my previous method of storing my records. This milk crate and then this pile of records over here. So not a big fan of the milk crate method. It's not very pretty and it doesn't hold as many records. The box claims it holds 75. So let's see uh, how this works. This is Meatloaf, Bat Out of Hell 2, Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice Deluxe three disc trifold LP, the Saw Anthology Volume One, the 
Saw Anthology, Volume 2. Tom Jones. Live in Las Vegas. I laughed, I cried, I want to see it again and again. It was better than Cats. The original motion picture soundtrack uh, to Tootsie starring Estelle from Golden Girls. Joe Cocker. Jefferson Starship. Hall and Oates. Air Supply. Annie, the motion picture soundtrack. Billie Eilish, No Time to Die, single on vinyl. Rocky, single on vinyl. Billie Eilish, Don't Smile at Me, single on vinyl. Billie Eilish, Everything I Wanted, LP, single on vinyl. Billie Eilish, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? Billie Eilish, Singles, Rarities, and Remixes. E.T. Ghostbusters. The Lion King, original movie soundtrack on vinyl. And Such Pretty Forks in the Road, Alanis Morissette. And of course, Happier Than Ever, Billie Eilish double LP album. That's an awful lot of albums. I didn't count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. It's like 24 or 25 albums. Some of them are doubles. And there's a lot of room left to go. And fortunately for me, I've got a lot of vinyl left to go, not to mention piles and piles elsewhere. So that settled the Crossley 75 album storage crate that I picked up from Walmart is definitely worth it. It's pretty well built while being somewhat lightweight as well. It's a good balance between strength and uh, bulk. So it's not overly bulky, but it's definitely strong enough. It's got 20 albums in it right now. And as you can see, it's not flexing or stressing at all. It feels quite, quite sturdy. So I think it's a good buy. It was about 20 bucks and it holds 75 albums. So if you would put one or two of these next to each other, it would keep a good amount of your albums safe. And I would rather do that personally than have them all jammed up to the front. I'd rather have it like half or three quarters full so that you could flip through it easily without ruining it. That said, uh, there it is. That's a good way to store your records. I know a lot of us still use random boxes and milk crates, but uh, there are better options available today. Even at your local big box stores like Target and Walmart. Walmart's where this one came from. Again, it's the Crossley uh, record storage crate, and you can pick it up today at uh, walmart.com or in-store or probably on Amazon, which is a better option because you can use the link in the description below and support my channel. So vinyl fans, that's all I've got for you today. You are watching Greg Adventure. I'm Greg, and this is today's adventure.